So now let's see how we can work around with something called the paint bucket tool over here. So on the left side, you can see that there's this paint bucket right here. And if I were to click, you can see that there is different options over here as well. So to use this, I'm going to first uh, bring in a brush and increase up the size of the brush and click and drag around to draw out a shape right here. So once I do that, I'm going to go around over here on to a paint section and I'm going to go around over here and select out a color and click over here. So once I do that here, you can see that the paint is filled out. Let me just press control Z right here. Just like this, you can see that this is the paint. Let me just press control Z and I can go around and select out other color and fill by clicking as well. Let me just press uh, control Z and you can work around with the alpha channel right here. Uh, for the fill as well so you can go around really increase it out so that it is a bit transparent that is the fill is a bit transparent right here you can go around and work around with the tolerance of color as well so you can see that right now it's um let's say for example if i were to click it it fills up more space but i'm just going to go around and go for let's say maximum overlap is going to be zero right here and you can see that this is how it actually fills out once i actually use this option right here so you can go around, use the overlap option to overlap out the fill more and more right here or work around with the color tolerance right here to really increase it out so that the tolerance is more so it fills up more space and even the edges right here as you can see. So if you have some areas that are not filled out, then you can use the paint um, and painted option right here and once you click, it'll be filled out. So you can work around with um, the maximum overlap thing right here to actually go around and fill up more area over here as well. So that is how you can go around and work around with the color fill. And if I were to go around onto unpaint and click, then what happens is that the uh, um, uh, that the fill is unpainted uh, altogether and it gets deleted just like that, as you can see. And that is how you can use the paint bucket tool inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.